Hi everyone, my name is Atharva Nanche and welcome to Red Fox Security Channel. Whether you are just starting in cyber security or looking to level up or just curious about cyber security, you are at the right place. At Red Fox, we prioritize hands-on learning with 70% practical and 30% theory, ensuring you to gain real-world skills. Our team has worked on hundreds of real-world engagements and we offer pen testing services across various domains of cybersecurity and provide courses and trainings. Find us on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter and LinkedIn for more insights. So getting to today's topic or discussion, we are going to talk about browser tool and how we can exploit activities. So the ones who haven't seen the initial part in which we have told how we can install the browser and how we can configure it make sure you check that first because we have uh, discussed a detailed version how we can configure the browser tool once you have done with that you can come here and understand how we can exploit activities using browser so without wasting any time let's get to the slides uh, so as i said uh, this will be another part of browser tool uh, in this, we will be discussing how we can exploit activities that is another component of Android application using browser. So uh, let's get, go ahead. So what exactly is an activity? Uh, so in an Android application, let's suppose there are uh, various pages, for example, uh, login application, uh, then there is a dashboard page, then there is uh, some other pages in that particular uh, application such as settings page or something else. So every page or every UI component the user is trying to interact, it is called as an activity. So for an example, you can say a logging screen is one activity, then a dashboard screen is another activity uh, and, and there is any settings page, then that can be a third activity. So uh, any UI component, any page a user is trying to interact, it is an activity in an Android application. So how uh, you can use a particular dozer to identify if this particular activity is exploitable and how you can exploit it. So let's go ahead and understand that. So first we need to understand how we can identify if the particular activity is exploitable. Um, so for that there are two methods. First we can use JDEX GUI uh, and uh, we can also use browser as well. So there are two things which we can do. So the first one was JDEX GUI. Uh, so we will just open JDEX, uh, drag drop our APK file, uh, vulnerable one. Then uh, locate the uh, uh, locate the, the Android manifest file and search for Android exported is true. So what happens when the Android exported is true, there should be particular permissions for that. In some cases, the developers won't assign any permission for particular uh, export. So in that case, we can exploit those uh, activities as well. So you can do, you can check by JDEX and by Drozer. So we will do it with the JDEX first and we will check with the Drozer as well. So let's start a JDEX UI. Okay. So uh, this is one of the applications which we are testing that is DVAC. I uh, will drag and drop it. Okay. So as we need to navigate to the Android manifest file first, so click on the resources, then go to, to the Android manifest file. So as you can see, uh, there are different uh, components over here listed. Uh, there is activity, broadcast receivers, content providers, services and etc. So right now we are uh, looking for the activities which are exported to Drew. So let's get to the slides first. So we what we need to search. Uh, that the android exported is true this is what we are trying to search so let's search for that control f colon quoted equals to quoted equal to let's say true so let's check this first android exported so uh, yeah as you can see over here android exported is true uh, it is one of the login activity 
so uh, this is not suspicious one as uh, you required this to be publicly open as we need a first activity which we are trying to log in is via login activity so this is not that uh, suspicious for me right now uh, then let's check another one uh, so this is one of the activity the password man uh, manager activity which is exported to true so uh, why an application will export password activity to true uh, means it should have some permissions as well so as you can see this can be little uh, suspicious like okay we can we can try to exploit this activity uh, particularly the password management activity is there any other thing no it is false as you can see the android uh, exported is false for auth activity so this is the legit behavior which should happen if you are trying to patch anything uh, another activity is set to true the secret file activity okay so there are various activities right now which is uh, android uh, exported is true so let's understand how we can exploit them and uh, how we can get the access so first we will also understand how we can enumerate those or identify the activities using browser so let's get to the Uh, this might be a little quick for you uh, if you haven't seen the uh, initial part uh, as we have under uh, as we have told how we can configure uh, the uh, browser application so make sure you go with that first and then you drop down to this program files nox bin so let's uh, check if our So yeah, our Android uh, emulator is running. Uh, it's running on 62025. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so this is an emulator Nox on which our uh, browser agent and DVAC is running. So let's connect with them. So first forward the port. We will, to forward the port, we will use ADB. Forward. ACP colon three one four one five. By default, uh, the uh, agent, the browser agent, will be running on three one four one five. So make sure you forward the port. CP. So let's check. Oh yeah, open the browser. It's on. It started running. So let's connect with the emulator with the console as well so to connect with the console of browser you need to you need to use this command browser console connect so as you can see you have uh, connected with the console now uh, we need to identify the activities which are vulnerable to for that first we required a package name as we discussed earlier so first we will run this command run app dot package dot info and we will require the package name which we will get from the jdex so in the android manifest you can search for that or you can easily it will be seen here com dot zen.dvac which is the package name of the particular apk so yeah so drop it here enter so uh, this will list out uh, different uh, what you can say uh, permissions of the particular file and information so now we need we are interested in activities which are which might be vulnerable so for that you need to run a command run app dot package dot attack sir face run attack surface and then the package name itself so as you can see there are four activities so the which are, which which are exported uh, true and we will check if there are any permissions for that particular activity which can be vulnerable 
so to uh, get the information for that we have uh, some commands so let's get to the slides yes uh, so exploiting the android activities first we need to connect the browser to android device uh, where the apk is installed we already did it retrieve the package name yeah we did that as well uh, get the attack surface uh, we have enumerated the attack surface now we need to understand to get the information uh, of the activity uh, and the permissions of the particular exported activities so for that we will run this command run app activity info uh, argument hyphen a and then the package name and hyphen i for the detail uh, information so let's go with this run app dot activity dot info and hyphen a and the package name this might be enough but we will also add i so first i will show you this so as you can see uh, there are different activities right now uh, which have permission null so these uh, this means the particular activities which are exported have no permissions so without no permissions in the sense even the per person who is not authorized to access them will be able to access it so let me show you one uh, and why we use i to get a detail information so yeah, it's running the ha huh. okay it's already done okay so as you can see uh, not only the permissions intent filters actions categories everything will be uh, uh, will be simply listed over here you can also see this in jdex but uh, yeah uh, the browser tool does that for you so now what is our uh, challenge we need to exploit one of these activities so what is my concern i will go with the password manager activity this sounds a little suspicious for me to access a manager activity that is the that to unauthorized so i will target this one so how we can check this first we need to log in on the application make sure if there is there is an user on this application okay so first register so i'll give any random password admin at the rate one two three okay so register then again pass the same uh, password admin at the rate one two three so that's how. okay hello so we have logged in uh, in the dvac application uh, so as you can see there is a change password uh, uh, change password activity or you can say change password uh, activities over here and different activities not only change password so uh, our challenge is to exploit this activity means to get an unauthorized access so how we can do that just close this application there is a legit user right now who has a password admin so if we try to open it it will again ask for us to enter the password without entering a password we can't access the particular activity what is it we can't access let's check so uh, i will just keep it here now let's go to the browser i'll just make it that will be okay so uh, this was the last command which we run we uh, got the info about the uh, which are the exported activities which have no permission so now we will try to uh, start one of the activities without being authorized so how we can do that uh, we will have a simple command like start uh, run app dot activity dot start I'll go with all full command run app dot activity dot start then I will go with the component and component then I will mention the component which I want to target as I said I am targeting the password manager activity so this is the component con.zing password manager activity this is one of the components which I will be targeting uh, so first we need to uh, mention the package name so this is the package name and then there is and then the component
So I'll just show you the command first. Wait a minute. Let's get to the slides and understand the command first. Uh, so run app dot activity start component package name and then the component name. So first uh, we have started the run app activity start component first the package name and then the component name. Where is the Android? Yeah. So now if I start this. Wait a minute. There is a run time error. Okay, let's again connect with the console. Okay, so there is a console is not connecting. Let's start the browser agent. It happens sometimes. So let's forward the port first. Connect with the browser. Yeah, it's working fine. Open the DVAC. Our command. Damn. So as you can see, I have uh, run this particular command without having any authorization, without passing any credential, I was able to get to the system. This is how you can exploit a particular activity to get an unauthorized access in Android application. And this is how we have understood that even without having any proper credential or authorization, uh, we can use Drozer tool to exploit activities and get an unauthorized access. So just uh, knowing that how we can exploit is not a pen testing thing. We should also know how to mitigate that. What are the preventions? So now uh, we will move ahead for the prevention part. So to prevent activities, first uh, make sure you set the exported activities false. Ensure activities that don't need to be accessed extremely have an uh, Android exported false to prevent other apps from accessing them. So in some cases, it won't be possible that uh, all the activities have been exported false. So, but yeah, this is one of the good practice. If you are not, uh, not want your activities to be exploited, make sure that you set exported false. But if an activity must be exported, like there are some of the activities you need to set it to be exported, then limit the access by using custom permissions. For example, you can see down here, uh, there is a uh, Android, uh, what you can say, uh, a snippet kind of thing. So you can add your custom permissions over here and uh, through which uh, the activities have no, uh, the activities which have no permissions can get an unauthorized action. But if the activities have some permissions, you can't just get an unauthorized access and define the custom permissions in Android manifest file as well. So this is a part of prevention. So this was all for today. At Red Fox Academy, we don't just teach, we prepare you for the real world with hands-on learning and insights from experienced professionals. Want to land a high paying salary in big four company? Start building the right skills today with Red Fox Security. Explore our courses at academyredfoxsec.com and unlock your potential. Share this video with your friends and let us know in the comments if there is any specific topic you want us to cover in our next videos. If you love our content, hit the subscribe button. Uh, Cybersecurity journey starts here. Let's learn with Red Fox Security.